Welcome to SHS This Month, Spring Edition. I'm Nick Hardy, and in this episode, we'll be updated on clubs, student life, and sporting events. To start off the show, we hear from Mr. Norton and his Destination Imagination teams. Mr. Norton, most people just call me Norton. It's a very good question. Uh, it is a little confusing, but the best way to summarize it is uh, Destination Imagination is a problem solving, a creative problem solving competition that is, uh, takes place in eight or 18 or 19 different countries. It's actually kind of an accident. So when I was hired, uh, the superintendent at the time, Mr. Sarno, told me about this uh, engineering competition that the school was going to enter and they were going to, you know, would you host it if we hired you as the engineering teacher? And I said, sure, because you're never going to say to a potential employer, no, that'd just be silly. And then every time I saw Mr. Sarno in the hallway, uh, he'd go, oh, how are those engineering teams going? And I'm like, great! And finally, it got to like January, I, I went to my supervisor, Ms. Sullivan at the time, and said, what is Mr. Sarno talking about? I have no idea. And she goes, oh, it's that competition. You're supposed to have teams ready. Uh, let's look it up. Oh, the deadline for that is tomorrow. And I'm like, ah! Uh, so I put a bunch of teams together. I put two teams together, and we competed, and we won, and we went to Globals and placed uh, se uh, seventh in the world. All on an accident. Well, the best thing about Destination Imagination is uh, it has to completely come from the students. Uh, my role as the advisor is just to facilitate and to teach the things that they might want to know more about in order to solve the challenge. And the challenge could be in any of several different categories. There's the technical challenge, there's the structural challenge, uh, scientific challenge, fine arts, uh, community service, and improv. But uh, if somebody wants to learn more about magnetism to solve the technical challenge, then I can teach about magnetism, but I can't say, use this magnet to solve this challenge. That's gotta fall on the student. Since 0809. I favor technical. Now, uh, so we always, I, I tend to make sure that, you know, I am an engineering and science teacher. So we tend to, since we do it in the science department, we tend to favor more towards uh, the technical, structural, scientific challenges. I always try to have at least one community service team because I feel it's very important. But the really beautiful thing, even though I might favor or try to have more technical teams, they still have to have some kind of creative, artistic value to their solution. Because not only are they being judged on the creative, or on the technical aspect of it, they're being judged on the creativity and their artistic performance in that challenge. The students, um, you get to see a, a goofier, crazier side than you do on, say, the softball field or in the classroom, because I also coach softball. So it, it's, it's, it can get, it, we can have late nights here working on challenges and um, people tend to get pretty crazy and goofy, so it's fun. You will, you will end up on teams with people that you have probably never spoken bef to before in this school. And by the end of the year, those people who you may never have talked to or may never consider talking to, they may end up being like your family.
Thanks, Mr. Norton. Let's hand it over to Courtney Wiener from the DECA State Competition in Boston. This is Courtney Wiener, and I'm reporting from the State DECA Conference in Boston. Stoughton DECA has 40 members competing in this weekend's competition. Baptista and Randy Brown both are competing in individual series this weekend. Is this any of your first state competitions? This is my first state competition. It is? How's it going? Um, it's going pretty well. It's really fun. I already did one role play and I'm ready for the second. Awesome. What about you, Randy? Uh, this is my second year competing and I feel pretty confident about my first role play. Good. All right. So what category do you guys compete in? I'm competing in restaurant and food service management. I'm competing in apparel and accessories marketing. And what has been your favorite part of the weekend so far, or what are you excited about? Um, my favorite part of the weekend so far would have to be like meeting all new people from like different like towns and different like DECA chapters, and it's really fun meeting new friends. I agree with Lexi. It's really fun meeting new people, and just like the the atmosphere here is really fun. Awesome. All right. Good luck, guys. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. I'm with Ryan Barush. He is also competing in an individual series this weekend. Hi, Ryan. Hi, Courtney. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. Awesome. All right. So, is this your first time at a state competition? Yes, it is. It's my first time at states. Um, and how many years have you been doing DECA? I've been doing DECA for three years. Um, my first year, I was sick. I couldn't be able to go to districts. And then my second year, I didn't make it to states. So, um, I, I uh, started to study and I finally uh, made it this year. So. Awesome, congratulations. Thank you. What category do you compete in? Um, I compete in restaurant and food service management. Um, last year and the year before that I did hotel and lodging but it wasn't really for me so I switched it up and uh, I think I made the right decision because I'm here now. Guess you did. All right. And why do you do DECA? Last question. Um, because um, really it looks really good on a resume and uh, that goes out to all like underclassmen that aren't in a club they should really be interested in DECA because it's a lot of fun um, and it looks really good for colleges and uh, yeah it, it's fun to you know meet new people. All right thank you Ryan thank good you. luck with the rest of the competition.
Now we hear from Sophia Khaleesi and Brendan Campbell with members of the Stoughton High varsity lacrosse team. How is the season going so far? Uh, it's definitely had its ups and downs. Um, we're just excited to be out there and compete, so it's an exciting opportunity. How is the team doing with the transition to varsity? Um, we're doing pretty good. We're uh, holding our heads high, we're working hard, and we're going out there and competing, like I said. What does the team need to improve on? Uh, I think we need to improve on our, um, our fast breaks and our defense as well, and overall chemistry as a team. Who are some key contributors to the team? Um, I'd say at attack, Jack Doherty, um, goalie, Harry Leal, and Mitty, um, David Salucci, and also our new face-off for, for, uh, for the first line, Sean Doherty. What are the team's goals for this season? Um, we, have, we had one goal to win a game, but uh, now that we've got that done, we're definitely looking for, for the next few, next few wins. What are the biggest challenges for the team? Uh, I'd say the biggest challenges for the team are going against like big powerhouse towns like Foxborough and Mansfield, but um, we, we definitely go out there and we compete and we don't just give up uh, going into the game. So, How's the season going so far? Uh, the season is going you know, as we expected it to go uh, for the first varsity year. You know, A lot of people's first time playing a varsity sport, not only just playing lacrosse, you know, it's just going to take time for people to get acclimated to the uh, climate of a varsity sport and what it takes to be successful at this level. I'm getting uh, reports that you just got your first varsity win. How, how do you feel about that? Uh, you know, it was a huge win for not just us as a team, but uh, for, for Stoughton, I think, you know, coming off in our first year and getting our first varsity win, a uh, nine to eight win over Milford, you know, good team, well coached. I just think, you know, it definitely uh, put us in the put us in the right direction and it definitely we had a great game that game I like to think that it shows us what we need to do to eat day in and day out to be successful. Um, how is the season going so far? It's going okay can't complain at all we've uh, we filled our accomplishment of getting our first ever varsity win so that's a big big accomplishment for this program. Yeah. What does the team need to improve on? Um, just basic stick work passing catching all the basics we're a fairly new program so all the basics we just have to get better at. Who are some key contributors to the team? Um, definitely John Lessa and David Salucci. They've been putting balls in the back of the net just nonstop. And uh, obviously our defense has been doing great. Ryan Pierre, Harry Lale doing a good job of not letting too many balls in our net. So that's what's... What are the team's goals for this season? I think every team's goal is to make the tourney, so that would be awesome. We're a first-year varsity team, so we got our first win, which was one of our big accomplishments. So just as many wins as possible. Is what are the biggest challenges for the team? Definitely just getting used to varsity. I think we've had six games already. Uh, definitely we've got our feet wet in the varsity world. So basically the biggest challenge is just communicating, getting better at the basics, and just, just hopefully get, grabbing some wins. How is the season going so far? Uh, it's been pretty good so far. Uh, we won our first game, our first ever home game, first ever varsity win for Stoughton High. So, How is the team doing with the transition to varsity? Uh, it was a little tough at first, but I think everyone's starting to get used to it, and it's good to see that the team's starting to work together and got our first win. What does the team need to improve on? Uh, just the basics like stick work, scooping balls, and getting the, getting the ball into the net. Who are some key contributors to the team? Uh, key contributors, Dave Salucci, Jack Doherty, Justin Lee, all doing great on offense this year. And uh, we have Harry Leal playing goalie this year, just doing the best he can. He's doing awesome so far. And uh, Ryan Pierre on defense too. Um, what are the team's goals for this season? Uh, well, one of our main goals was to try and get our first varsity win, and we did that already. And now we also want to try and uh, push to try and make the tournament. That'd be a huge accomplishment for us. What are the biggest challenges for the team? Uh, biggest challenges is like from moving from JV to varsity. It's a big like push, and it's just tough as a first year program. <laughs>
Now over to Megan Audley, who checks in with Elizabeth Burkowski, a senior on the Stoughton track team. So what do you do for the track team? I do mid-distance, and specifically, I run the 800. Um, how is track going this year? Has the team had any major accomplishments? Throughout the season, we've had many PRs, but most importantly, in our meet yesterday, we won against Canton. Mm -hmm. uh, how has track impacted your high school career? Well, I've never wanted to do track going into my freshman year, but I've, I've said that it has been a big part of my life. I've made many great friends, connections to coaches, and many great memories. Um, do you plan to compete in track throughout college? Yes, I do. I plan to run for Eastern Connecticut State University. And do you have any uh, advice for underclassmen in track or that want to be in track? Yes, for the underclassmen, I say give it all you got, have fun, and take it seriously. Now we'll hand it over to Mackenzie Hudson with members of the varsity tennis team. Hi, this is Mackenzie Hudson. I'm here with Ellie Cashin, captain of tennis varsity. Um, who are some key contributors this year? Um, this year I think some key contributors were Alex Soto who played first doubles with Amanda Gallant. Um, they had some very key games that needed to win the match. Unfortunately, some of the other players didn't come through, but their wins really did contribute to the season, as well as Allie Swartz, who played first and second singles. She has improved a lot since freshman year, and I think that she was a very important part of the team this year. How do you think the season is going so far? So far, I think we have improved so much since the beginning of the season, and we're still on our way to getting to the top and winning some matches. But overall, it's going pretty well so far. What would you consider some of your goals for this year? Um, some goals for this year, I think, would be the placement, especially for singles. Our doubles teams have been doing very well this season, but for singles, we have to work on placement, like in the corners, lines, um, cross court, and consistency as well, so that we can have longer rallies with the opponents and possibly win some games. How do you think you can achieve some of these goals? I think that during practice it's very important to practice cross court and also off season we have to have a lot more captains practices like we did this year and you can see that they have improved our skills greatly. Okay, thank you for your time and good luck with the rest of your season. Hi, this is Mackenzie Hudson. I'm here with Alex Soto, the star tennis player. How is the season going so far? Um, we could have done better this season. We're in the Hockamock League, so it's a really competitive um, teams that we play. But we've done good. We held in there. And yeah. Who are some key contributors? Some key contributors are definitely Ellie and Allie. Um, they play singles. They do really well in singles. Amanda Gallant, she's my doubles partner. She does really well. She gets to the ball. She hustles really hard. We have a new freshman named Gabby Diaz who plays Diaz, who plays singles, and she does really well. What are some goals for this season? Some goals are to finish off those deuce matches, so just like finishing off the last point just to get those last games in, um, definitely hanging in there and not giving up. How do you think you can achieve these goals? Um, practicing really hard, hustling, working on our cardio, um, definitely just working up at the net with our coach. Okay, thank you. No problem. Next, we have special backstage footage of Mr. SHS, caught by Rachel and Courtney Weiner. Hi, I'm Rachel Weiner backstage at the 2017 Mr. SHS competition. I'm here with Stevens Bontemps. So Stevens, how has it been preparing for this competition? Yes. Wow, what a great answer. How about your talent part of the show? How was it working on that? Do you know what, how did you know what you were going to do for that? I didn't. See, I kind of just uh, put on some sus suspenders, put on a hat, started slapping my legs, and that was it. Wow, what a great guy. I hope you had good luck and enjoy the show, guys. Thank you. Is it an honor to know that you were nominated for Mr. HHS? Uh, yes, uh, most definitely. So I can say when I come back, like l later years, that helped, I, gave, I left it all out there at high school and I tried it in Mr. SHS and whatever happens, happens. It was, it's been fun. That's some great spirit. Good luck out there and uh, good night. I'm here with one of the competitors, Tim Rick. So Tim, how does it feel to be nominated for Mr. SHS? 
Well, um, I'm very happy to be doing it. Um, it has a long tradition here at SHS. Uh, started with actually Jeffrey Pickett, so that's a great person to be uh, in the in the same shoes as. But no, it's just it's just a lot of fun, and uh, I'm hoping that I have these memories forever. That's a good Which competitor do you think is your biggest threat? Um, probably my fellow blues brother, uh, Ryan Baresh, because we killed our talent. So it's just either one of us at right now. Sounds good. Good luck tonight, and I hope you have fun. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm here with Jack Doherty. So, which competitor do you think is your biggest threat? Um, I'm going to go with Steven Bontemps. That, that German dance he did was just crazy. The only person I'm not worried about is Ryan Buresh, because why would we be worried about Ryan Buresh? That's an honest answer. So, how did you figure out what your talent was going to be? Oh, I've been actually waiting to do Mr. SHS for the past four years. So, when 22 Jump Street came out, I, I just knew. I knew I was going to do that. That's some dedication. Well, good luck out there, and I hope you have a fun time. Thank you. Well, all right, this is Courtney Wiener, and I'm here with the winner of Mr. SHS 2017, John Podesta. Congratulations. Thank you. How does it feel? Feels great. I'm very excited. <laughs> Um, you did awesome. So what was your favorite part of the night? Favorite part of the night was formal wear. Uh, I'm a big fan of wearing tuxes uh, and looking like James Bond. So, yeah. What was the best part of preparing for this pageant? Definitely the guys that we rehearsed with. It was a ton of fun working with all of them. Even Cam Bean, it was a ton of fun. Is there anyone you'd like to thank who helped you prepare or just for the support? I'd like to thank my parents, my entire family. Uh, I'd like to thank my sister especially for braiding that wig that I wore because I don't know how to do that. Thank you. All right, and last question. What are you going to do now with your new title? Man, I'm probably going to hit up T-Spa, uh, get a buffalo chicken pizza with some blue cheese dressing. All right, thank you, John, and congratulations again. Thank you. Let's check in with Cam Doherty and the Senior Spotlight, featuring Josh Roos and Jake Roman. I'm Cam Doherty, and I'm here with Senior Josh Roos. And let me start off by asking you, uh, do you participate in any after-school sports? Yes, I do. I am playing baseball right now for the varsity team. Right now, we're sitting at 7-3, on the way to a good season. Hopefully, we can win the Hawk and make a deep playoff run this year and win the state championship. Uh, very good. Um, does this season mean more to you since it's your final season as you're a senior? I mean, yeah, this means more to me because this is the last time I'm playing baseball with all my like friends from growing up playing Little League, Babe Ruth, high, like freshman JV all the way up here now. Yeah, this is probably going to be the last organized baseball too because nothing in college is going to match the intensity and the level of this high school baseball I'm doing. And as a senior, how would you say you try to help lead the team? I like to say that I bring a good attitude and like the mentality, picking everybody up, just like glad to be there, making everybody feel like one giant team, it's all about brotherhood here, so. Um, and now to change the topic a little bit, do you plan on attending the senior prom or the class trip? I'm planning on attending both. I'm looking forward to a fun prom at Lake Pearl and Renfrew. That should be a good night too. And the class trip at Camp Wing in Duxbury, that should be a fun day with all my friends too. For sure. And uh, with the year starting to finalize for us, um, what would you say you're looking forward to the most come the end of the year? I'm looking forward to Probably graduation and all the grad parties. Like it's gonna be sad to like leave Stone High School and go on to like the real world in college. But the last summer, the grad parties, all my friends. That should be a summer to have a lot of fun. Um, and have you decided on where you're going to college? I will be attending UMass Amherst in the fall in the Eisenberg School of Management. Not sure what aspect of business I want to study, but business is a broad enough topic with all the intro courses I'll take freshman year. I'll I'll figure it out and be fine. Um, and would you say there's any reason you chose business? It's just, I'm, I'm not sure like what I want to do yet, but business is so broad. I can find a aspect that I enjoy and go with that. Definitely. And uh, since we're seniors, we're all done with the whole process. But uh, for incoming juniors, it's all kind of just it's starting now, basically. So what advice would you give to them? Listen to all your teachers. Listen to the guidance. They know what they're doing. Do it early and make sure you do, like try 100% because everyone's like, maybe your college essay isn't important you don't know that, just do your best and do it early. Don't wait to do it the last minute. Thank you, Josh. Thank you. I'm Cam Doherty here with senior Jacob Roman. And let me start by asking you uh, if you participate in any after school activities at Stone High. Other than helping out Mr. Vache after school with editing and the video yearbook, I mostly participate in Games and Hobbies Club. Uh, why would you recommend getting involved in the SHS community? It's sort of a break from classes to relieve the stress of homework projects, and you can get to know your peers. Fair 
enough. Uh, what path do you see yourself taking after high school? Uh, do you plan to go to college? Of course, college. Uh, what what school have you chosen? I have chosen UMass Amherst. Very good. Um, what will you be studying at UMass? I'm going to be studying biomedical engineering at UMass. Um, is there any particular reason why you chose this major? Does it strike an interest that you have? Well, it's more so just to help people. I see people losing limbs, not being able to perform just the most basic functions. It would be nice to see them return to normalcy. Um, describe how you, how you have helped or assisted Mr. Bechet over the last couple of years. Coming every day for Nightline. It's all about being consistent. Um, and can you m talk about the work that you've done on the video yearbook? Mostly editing, planning, getting the props together, getting various things like the glasses and situations set. Mm -hmm. And uh, how would you say these skills you've learned helping Mr. Boucher help you in your future? Definitely scheduling. If I didn't learn how to ration out my time in college, I'm likely going to be having to do a five-page essay at midnight. And as a senior, you're already done with the process, but what advice could you give to incoming juniors who are about to begin the college application process? Have your guidance counselors look at your essay. as the most important part. It could mean the difference between getting accepted and denied. Thank you very much, Jacob. And that's all she wrote for SHS this month this year. Be sure to check in next year in the upcoming fall.